ride to the hot cold dream The truth you'll find out I've been doing this a long time. I have. Just today. <laughs> I have. We've had this band since, you know what, I was just realizing the first record for this band came out in 1997. I'm the last guy in America that has a box of cassette tapes in his garage. <laughs> CD release and cassettes. But so, what is that? Uh, 16 years or something like that? That's how long this band's been around. And, uh, and I've been around even longer. <laughs> Before that, I was, you know, in rock bands. I was living in Los Angeles. That's a law. You have to live in New York. I live in Los Angeles. And uh, different bands, different stuff. Writing songs with my buddy Bob Crew, you know, the Four Seasons guy. I was just trying to find my niche and got back here in 1990 to New York and decided I'm going to play the kind of music I really always liked instead of facsimiles. <laughs> and that's when we put together, uh, me and Brother Mark and a few buddies put together Chris Brown and the Desperados. When did you discover that you could sing? Well, thank you very much. I'd say the jury's still out, but <laughs> but uh, I always knew I wanted to. You know, my mom was a singer. Me and Mark's mom, Pat Berardo, uh, sings. When I saw her sing at the Saints John and Paul Talent Show, she sang "Somewhere Over the Rainbow," and I was very aware. I must have been nine years old. I was very aware that number one, I want to do that, and number two. She's really good. She's better than all these other people. And being my mom, I thought, well, maybe I could do that, you know? And I'd spend a lot of time in front of the mirror with the monkeys records on. So I think I always wanted to. And I can tell you that my parents say that I was shameless. You know, they couldn't really go out to dinner in public places because I had taken to standing up and singing in front of people. So I know, which is basically what I'm doing now. So I think I always, I always want to. That's the most fun of anything I can think of to do in the world is, you know, the most honest, raw fun you can have is to open your mouth up and let it out. <laughs> somebody like you Just get you going like you should So easy to sing Then I could turn your world Who's working with you on the album? Well, it's me. It's you know, this time recording is just me and the guys, me and you know, the six of us. And um, Eric Roscoe Amble is producing. Eric's been playing guitar in the band for several years now. Lucky us. And uh, he's been producing the record. Uh, he's made a lot of great records. You know. He's worked with all kinds of you know, Steve Earle, Bottle Rockets, and uh, a lot of great people. His band, the Del Lords. And uh, that's how it started. I went to him and said, hey, why don't you think about producing this record? And in the interim, over these last few years, he you know, started playing with us, too. Uh, so we've been in his place out in Brooklyn. And got about, there's going to be 12 songs on this new CD. And we got six of them done, finished, in the can, as they say in showbiz. And uh, it's going to go back and edit the others. Let's see. I really got the itch for people to hear the new material and the way the band sounds now with with all these extra years of touring and playing together and Tom Fooler under our belts. <laughs> well, you've been opening for some really cool people too. We have. I love I love doing that. We've been getting to play. We have a lot of years now, but a lot lately, playing with people that we love, you know, and, and in most cases, classic kind of acts, which is a thrill to be around these guys and see how they do their business. Um, and we played a bunch of shows lately with the Marshall Tucker Band, who I loved, you know. I used to go see when I was a kid and hitchhike and sneak in beers, and now I get to just wander around backstage, free ticket. 
but uh, them and uh, Dickie Betts and um, you know people like that. You know, we got to play with Brother Levon before he passed, and yes, sir. And uh, you know, those those kind of uh, acts mean a lot to us, and we've been doing more of that, and hope to be uh, doing more of that coming up. And it gets it gives us a chance to play for 2,000 people in front of this audience that these guys have won over for 40 years, you know, and that for them to you know, open up their hearts a little and give us a chance to expose ourselves to people like that. And that's our demographic, you know, they're folks my age and, you know, with the same experiences that really kind of like rock music like it used to be, you know, kind of. And uh, so that's, it's meant a lot to us and we like doing that. I don't need to do some more of that. It's my advice always. <laughs> the title is, you know, somebody like me could really do a lot of good for somebody like you. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's a fun song. It's kind of, I think there's something else underlying in the lyrics about, uh, you know, the idea that uh, I can, I, I see something in you that you, maybe you haven't seen or you've forgotten. And, uh, you know, let me remind you, you know, what's so great there. And, uh, like I said, it's a jangly kind of revved up, Beatly pop song and uh, it's fun to play. It's fun to play. Side B is uh, a song called um, "The Last Great Chance." Uh, we've been opening with it a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, it's kind of I like to open with it, and uh, it's to me it's sort of a mission statement a little bit. You know, it's uh, the risk of sounding grand. It's uh, just a song about here's what we do. Here's what we think about this. You know, uh, out here with your buddies playing music, you know, and it could apply to larger things in life, but I suppose, but it's, you know, it's about this is something I get. Welcome, come join us. You know, it was 20 years ago today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a rock song, and that's that edge of what we do. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a big old rock song, like the kind I like to, you know, go and see somebody play. And it's full of guitars and jangly fun. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it kind of sets up the night for uh, here's here's what we want to do. Welcome, you come with us, and we'll we'll accept it. <laughs> when the wind breaks on the rocks, pulls you back out every time. You can lean over the edge, stare at the blackout of the night, break free and dance. We're riding out the last grade. Just feeling out here